free speech really matters. And yesterday, when the Democrats and 11 of my Republican colleagues decided to strip me of my committee assignments, education and labor and the budget committee, you know what they did? They actually stripped my district of their voice. They stripped my voters of having representation to work for them for the budget. A successful business owner that knows how to make a profit, not a loss. This impeachment trial that's going to happen next week is a circus. It's a circus that allows media companies to get lots of clicks, lots of views, and sell ad dollars. And you know what? That's pretty disgusting too. Everyone here knows that he did not cause this attack on the Capitol, nor did I, nor did any Republican, but the responsibility falls squarely on those that invaded the Capitol, the ones that planned it ahead of time. Those are the people that should be held accountable. I was in the chamber, unlike AOC, Representative Ocasio-Cortez, that faked her outrage with another hoax, just another hoax that gets shared everywhere. You see, those kind of fake lies, like AOC, Representative Cori Bush telling people that I attacked her when in fact it was on video that she attacked me. This is the kind of fake outrage that is dividing our Congress along with the fake outrage on the news every single day that's dividing our people. I had the greatest opportunity yesterday and I'm so grateful for it. I got to say what I had done wrong. And do you know how freeing that is? I'm not kidding. It, I, I seriously feel blessed by God because I got to do it on a world stage. I got to say, I said things wrong. I believe things that were wrong. And you know what? You know, I'm, I'm so happy I got to do that. My district is thrilled with me. People are all, all over the country are thankful and supporting me. And for that, I'm grateful to them. None of us are perfect. And when we, when we go about our life thinking that we are, we're such hypocrites. Truthfully, we really are. If we think we're perfect and can judge one another, that's such a mistake. So going forward, I've been freed. I do, I feel freed because you know what's happening on these committees? You see, we have a basically a tyrannically controlled government right now. The Democrats, we've got Joe Biden writing executive order after executive order, sign him, sign him, sign him, doing whatever he wants up there in the White House. We have Nancy Pelosi leading the Democrats in Congress to do whatever they want. They don't care what Republicans have to say. They don't care about what our districts and our voters have to say. They only care about pushing their socialist agenda through. They only care about taking away our freedoms. That's not right. So if I was on a committee, I'd be wasting my time because my conservative values wouldn't be heard and neither would my districts. Right now, my Republican colleagues are being told that their white skin makes them inherently racist or that their service in, the, in our nation's military to our country defending our freedoms makes them bad and a domestic terrorist. How are we at this place? How have we come here? The few bad actions of some do not define the many. And that's the truth. So now I have a lot of free time on my hands which means I can talk to a whole lot more people all over this country and I can talk to more people and make connections and build a huge amount of support that I've already got started with people that want to put America first and don't care about the party lines and don't care about any of the political identities involved. And that's something that I am very excited about. So I look forward to going home and seeing people in my district. I'm thankful and overwhelmed by their support. I'm grateful that I had the opportunity to say the things that I don't believe and I shouldn't have said in the first place. And, I, and I'm really grateful to my God because he forgives me and that's what being a Christian is all about.